teacher and anybody else there that's special? Yeah. <clears throat> Jesus. So we can know that Jesus is here with us when we tell our stories because he promised he would always be with us no matter where we're going. Oh boy, there's a big words on the screen. Do you think we can read them? All right, let's give it a try. What's this word thy, T-H-Y? Means like your, means like your, but let's read it and call it thy, okay? Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Psalm 119, verse 11. Very good. Oh, what's this guy got? <laughs> Is that the same thing? He takes by his shirt and what does it say? It says it again. Your, now we need to say the word your. Let's read this one. Your word I have hidden in my heart heart that I might not sin against you. Who, does, who do you think they're talking to? I'm, who I might not sin against who? God. God our Father. Yeah, I think you're right. One more time. Oh, I love that one. Some little kids, I saw a kid once two years old could read the King James Bible. That was something. I don't know if she knew what she was reading, but I think she did. All right, I got a bag in here. Hmm, what do I got in here? Oh, oh, something fell apart. What are these? Okay. What do they look like? Hearts. Can you, can, can you go to your heart? Can you touch your heart? You feel it beating inside? Is that where you think? Oh, or do you think up here? Why don't you touch the place where you think? Yeah. So if you're going to hide God's word in your heart, it's like your whole body. It's your head and your mind, too. Well, I hid some words in the heart here. Would you like to come and pick one, Michaela? And then, then you can pick one, Gilbert. And we're going to find out what we hide in our heart. What's this that say? All right. Better come up here and look at and pull in the microphone. Love one another, would you be mean? 
No, because you wouldn't want to sin against Jesus. What if mommy said to go set the table and you said, do you ever say, and then the words came, honor your father and your mother. Would you go set the table? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever mommy or dad said you to do, do they love you? Yeah, they love you. They only want to do good stuff. So when you hide stuff in your heart, you actually hide it in your mind, and then the word is in your mind, and then when you need when you need to do to know what to do, God will make the words come back outside, back to your mind. And then when it says love one another, you'll know when you're thinking, I think I want to I go by it. And this is race. I'm driving down the road, it's Sabbath, and there's a yard sale. And instead of looking at the yard sale, I say, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And it shall not do any work. And I just remember the word comes up to my mind. So that's what we're talking about. Hide the word in your heart. I think we have one more slide. This little girl, what is she doing? She's reading the Bible. And when she reads the Bible, if you find something in the Bible that you can remember, then it's going to keep you on the right path, right? It's showing you the right things to do. That's all. So one more, one more thing I've got here. It's a good thing the slide came up because I almost forgot it. Uh-oh. Here's your memory verse. Come and get it. Come on up here with me. I'm up by the microphone, Michaela. What's this one say? Let's do word by word. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. All right. For that, good reading. We shall have a prayer, and then we can pick one of these out of here. This is like band-aids. This is a, a first aid kit. And this is a hard <coughs> to squeeze. And there's a pen. So let's have a prayer. Who's good? Would you say thank you, Jesus, and would you say praise the Lord, and that would be part of our prayer? Okay, let's bow our heads. You get to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Would you say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you that when we have your Bible, and we read the words, and they go in our mind, that we can remember them, and when we need them, you'll just bring them up to us, and we'll either love someone, or we will remember your Sabbath, or we'll honor our father and mother. Whatever it is you tell us to do from reading our memory verses, please bless these children and bless us to serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <coughs> okay, you get the heart. <coughs> Thank you.